an influential visitor from New York City, has spent a couple of days in western New York to get some insight on our regional economy. And Channel 2's Ron Plants was at Buff State today as New York Federal Reserve President John Williams summed up his impressions here. Ron, what did we learn? Well, John Williams, as the New York District Federal Reserve Bank President, was really in the area, in the town here, to kind of take the temperature of the western New York regional economy and see if it's healthy. Apparently he thinks it is, and it was explained during his presentation before Buffalo State students this morning. Williams spoke of his meetings with government and business leaders, including M&T Bank CEO Rene Jones there. The, he also sits, by the way, on the Federal Reserve Board, helping to advise on policies. Williams also works on determining government financial strategies hand in hand with other Federal Reserve officials who actually help set the interest rates, which affect our loan rates for all of us on houses, cars or other big ticket items. They hope to tighten up spending to cool off inflation with their policies. Now the focus is really about getting inflation back down to 2% uh, and, uh, and doing that in a way that hopefully uh, keeps the economy uh, uh, growing uh, as best as we can. His job really is to oversee the stock market uh, in New York City and to make sure that markets are moving appropriately and that their policies are carried out. So that's going to be his job. So he's probably the most important of the regional presidents. Of the IP, Williams also had some advice for local leaders here in the Buffalo area, suggesting even more economic diversification away from just the traditional manufacturing base, and we're seeing that, and greater investment in education to build a stronger, stable workforce. Speaking of education, Kate, I hope you were paying attention. There will be an exam. <laughs> We might be in trouble there, but I did learn something, so thank you, Ron. There you go.